Hello Guardians, today we're going to go over setting up Tor on a non-rooted Android with Orbot. Uh, first things first, we're going to go to the either Fdroid repository or go to uh, the Google Play Store and uh, search for Orbot. You can see right there, Orbot Tor on Android. Then we're going to uh, do a quick install. And uh, right here you can see users also installed our uh, sister app to Orbot or Web, which is the way to browse the internet through uh, Tor, through the browser. So we're going to go ahead and install that as well. And wait for those guys to, uh, to download. Okay, so we can see those are installing right now. We have a little uh, Orbot pulled up. We can now choose the uh, language. I'm going to choose English, just to, for the English-speaking crowd here. Goes through some of our uh, warnings, instructions. We try to be explicit about which uh, permissions we're going to be accessing, just so that everybody's comfortable with the tool. Uh, if you do have a rooted phone, it does allow for other permissions that you don't have here. Um, you can see a list of Orbot enabled apps. So all of these tools you can actually um, plug in Orbot's proxy settings to use those tools through, uh, through Tor. So now Orbot is ready. So we're just going to finish. Now this is Orbot in its dormant mode. You just click and hold and you can see Orbot starting up. It's bootstrapping, looking for all the proper Tor connections. Goes from a nice little gray to a yellow while it's loading and should turn green shortly. Uh, you can actually see the speeds now. This has changed a little bit. Um, the first time you've connected, it gives a little instruction on how to contact us directly. You can shoot an email to help at Guardian Project dot info um, and otherwise it says that you've had success. Now how do we double check that? Well we go to our uh, sister app OrWeb and as soon as you open up OrWeb it'll go to check.torproject.org which uh, will actually notify you to say whether or not you're using Tor. So congrats you're configured to use Tor You'll see it in a nice green. If, it's, uh, if there's an error, it'll actually say that you're not configured to use Tor and then you're not using it. And so just be mindful of this. Uh, you can see all the localization so that it's in local languages as well. So now we're going to pull Orbot back up. Now for you advanced users out there, you might need to um, tweak some of the settings, particularly if you're in a uh, place where Tor is blocked. So you can see some pretty detailed settings here um, and you might need to actually use bridges. Um, so I want to walk through how we can actually get some of those bridges. So we're going to go out of here and go to another browser. Uh, if you click Chrome you can actually uh, go directly to bridges.torproject.org we're just gonna click on there and you can see uh, the ability to download some bridges after we've solved the captcha click I am human to prove it and you can see the bridge relays right there now if we actually need other types of bridges let's uh, let's do that so uh, Ops Proxy is a pretty exciting new development. Um, it hides Tor in a creative new way where it makes it look like it's not Tor. It hides it to make the traffic itself look more like Skype and other types of traffic. So it's uh, even harder to censor. So you can actually ask for this um, by clicking the Ops Proxy option and again solving the captcha clicking I am human and then we now have our OBS proxy 
proxy bridge. So we're going to highlight this. Copy that. Go back into Orbot. Back into Settings. And we can scroll down. Click uh, Use Bridges. And enter in the IP address of that bridge. Go back. a ops proxy bridge. So I hope that was helpful for all of you who want Tor on your phone and for those of you who have Tor currently blocked in your country but still want access uh, through your phone. Uh, if you have any other questions, always feel free to reach out to us at support at guardianproject.info. All right, happy touring. Bye.